Hello, we're over here in Vancouver, Washington. Ricky Sue is cooking as a pot of uh, shrimp, but scampi actually. Those are the noodles that he put in the pot. They're linguine noodles. He's going to cook them about roughly seven to ten minutes. And he's going to leave them just a little bit undone because he's going to transfer them in this pot, which is going to make the scampi. And inside our water over here, we just got a couple of, uh, couple of drops of olive oil, and we've also got a few teaspoons of salt in here. And what's going to be very important to know about this is you're going to want to, after you drain your spaghetti, you're going to want to save one cup of this water from here. It's going to come into play, and I'll show you how later. Over here, we got some fresh ing ingredients, uh, like freshly chopped shallots, uh, real butter there. Uh, we also got some freshly uh, chopped uh, garlic. He likes to use the real stuff. Uh, we also got some dry white wine over here, and that is a main part of the ingredients. You can use any cooking wine, I guess, dry white. And we got some freshly chopped parsley, some black pepper, uh, some kosher salt. We're just going to brown these up. Just gonna spread it out. It just pretty evenly. And probably you're probably going to want to give this just about two minutes and you're going to stir them around once or twice. And that's all it's really going to take. Now the scampi is a really, really quick dish. It doesn't take very long. back actually and uh, we forgot to mention that we're cooking some uh, what are we cooking over there? We're just going to do just a little bit of a bread dish with some mozzarella cheese and olive oil. How we're going to start it is in buttered pan. Just cut out some uh, bits. We're going to lightly just add some olive oil to every piece of bread here. Just drizzle it up a little bit. Just like that. And then we're just going to add a little mozzarella just right over the top of these. Meanwhile, the shrimp are still cooking a little bit here, and also the noodles are uh, ready. And there goes the starchy water that you need to add in shortly. We're going to take these and just pop them in a 350 oven for oh, just about 10 minutes, maybe five or 10 minutes. I'm not going to cover them because I don't want them to get too soggy. Okay, get back to you shortly then. We're back on again and uh, we just uh, took out the shrimp and transferred them over and set them aside for a little bit. Just for a second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a cup of, this is dry white wine. 
and add a whole cup like that. And also we're gonna add the juice of one whole lemon. Smell the Romano, the wine, Roma, garlic and the wine. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this come to a nice, pretty much a boil, not quite a whole boil, but we're gonna let it come to a boil. And after it comes to a boil, I'm gonna add four more tablespoons of butter and also about four more tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna get our shrimp and throw our shrimp back in there and let it all take a bath together. We're back after a short few minutes. Uh, the water has come to a uh, boil. The sauce here has come to the a boil. Sauce. We're gonna add another, at this time, four more tablespoons of butter. Four tablespoons of EBO. Which is olive oil. Olive oil. This time we're gonna add just a little bit salt and a little bit pepper to our mix. it all up. We're going to let this all come together as soon as the butter, everything melts here. We're going to be adding our shrimp back into here to let our shrimp cook all the way through. After that, we're going to be throwing our noodles on top. Then I'm going to show you where that cup of water I saved on the side is going to come into play. Now also at this time, we're going to take some finely chopped parsley leaves. Not too much because you don't want to overpower it. Just throw in a pet of a pinch. Get it together. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells incredibly good. But garlic and butter always smells good. We've still got our bread in the oven, just about ready here. All right, we're back, ready for the shrimp here. What he did was cook them almost uh, all the way through, and now he's adding them back to the pot with all those flavors that sauce. I'm just going to let it cook for about another minute. After it cooks for a minute here, all that's left to do is we're going to add our pasta. A little touch more of parsley if you like parsley. You can add another little touch of parsley at the end there just a pinch. And then we're going to add that cup of water I told you after our noodles in. Toss it all together and then it's going to be ready to serve. I'll be doing that in just a minute. We still got our bread in the oven. It looks like it's coming out just about perfect. All we want to do is melt the cheese on there and not burn the bread. We just want to keep the bread. It's already a crunchy bread, so we just want to keep it nice and crunchy. We're back to uh, smelling those shrimps starting to boil. And uh, we're just about ready to transfer the noodles to your uh, scampi here. Starting to smell real nice in here. It's about almost four pounds of gating noodle there. Or more. See, he's covering them pretty good there. Pass it around, I'm going to that cup of water I told you about. So that cup of water goes back into play. Well, we're back over here to show you how this uh, all looks together. The plating, you know, which is not a red sauce, it's a scampi sauce. But trust me, it does taste good. Ready, Sam? And, uh, That's excellent. That's how it looks when it's ready, guys. A uh, couple of breads that came out of the oven are nice and toasty with uh, mozzarella cheese on top of it, with a little prezzo on it. Uh, or uh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a little fresh mozzarella. Mozzarella and a little of uh, that parsley. Well, that's how it looks, and thank you to Bakhtal Tomato Jess. And that's the way Ricky Soup cooks his uh, shrimp scampi. Thank you, guys, for watching.